apple. I've been trying to win over this cat for over three years now. An apple. Oh, she's not having any of it. She would swat at me. She doesn't like being touched at all. If I got too close, she would run away. <laughs> I was pretty determined to win her over because I found her as a feral cat while I was living in Zimbabwe. We realized that Spooky had actually given birth to three little kittens. Chip stayed with me and the other two got adopted by friends. Eventually, I had to move back to the UK and after a whole year of trying, I finally got them over to the UK. Now I have to still win her over. Every time I try to give her a treat, I can tell that she really wants to go for it. Ow! But then she just ends up swatting me. I read that you could start putting treats on the end of the oven glove and tempt her with treats, but nothing really worked. I left a piece of clothing and I found her asleep on it. Spooky. I was like, oh, that was strange. And I started to think that, okay, maybe she likes the smell of me. Then it was one day, she started creeping very slowly towards me. Ow. She started to smell my hair. What are you doing? It sounds absolutely bizarre. But I think she likes to play with my hair. Yeah. Let's see if this works. If she likes my hair, then maybe I can give her my hair to play with more often. <laughs> she was a bit cautious at first, but she would come creeping up and then she would just go mad for my hair. The smell of my hair was like catnip to her. So I started doing it more and more often to, to try and win her over. It was just our like little bonding exercise. From that point on, I noticed such a huge change in Spooky. She came up and snuggled up next to me. That was a real breakthrough moment. Isn't she good? She's just absolutely so sweet now. We've made such great progress with her. It's been a pretty incredible journey. She shows her love in so many different ways. Spooky, are you coming? Hello. I can't imagine my life without her now.